image input type, is input type that we use to create graphical submit button. Basically, with the image input type, we will create button that has same functionality as standard submit button, but this button will be displayed like an image. HTML attribute that we use with image input type is SRC or source, which defines location and the file name of image that we want to display. Now let's create one more input element. So let's define input. Type for this one will be image. So basically with this one, we will create graphical submit button. We need to use SRC HTML attribute to point on the image that will be loaded for this button. So for this lesson, I already prepared one image that is male image. Extension for this file is PNG. So for our SRC or source HTML attribute, we need to set mail dot, sorry, dot PNG. Okay, well, let's create some new lines after our graphical submit button. We can copy those from here and let's paste it here. So let's save our changes now. If we go back in our web browser and if we refresh our page, we can see now we have a submit button that is displayed like an image that we have set for it. So basically when we click on it, our HTML form will be submitted with the values that we have entered inside of it. Okay. We can test this once again. And as you can see, values from our HTML form will be submitted when we click on our graphical submit button. One more thing that we can do for our graphical submit button, we can resize it with height and width HTML attributes. So let's set something like 25 pixels for width and 25 pixels for height. So let's save our changes now. If we go back in our web browser, if we refresh our page, here it is. This is our image button with resized height and width. We can test this inside of our Google Chrome because we have already our image button there. So as you see, now image has been resized. So we have set 25 pixels for our height and width. So we can use height and width HTML attributes like we are using it on regular image HTML elements. Thanks for watching this tutorial and I hope this was helpful to you. If you like our work, please become our Patreon or simply donate our PayPal. Please remember, even a little from you means a lot for us. You can follow us on our Twitter and Instagram profiles and please don't forget to subscribe on our YouTube channel because on our YouTube channel, knowledge is waiting for you.